Good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. We are in our river journal. Let's open it up and get going. I knew today I wanted to do a savanna tree, but this copy is too big. So, but, all right, this is going to be my background. If this one doesn't work, I'm going to paint it. And that could be problematic for everybody. But we're going to try. I love the shape of these trees. That's I talked about it on the Nile, I think. The, or Yeah, I did. The savanna trees. I just think they're beautiful. They're majestic. They're wispy. Only the way because of the way giraffes have been eating them. <laughs> think they're gorgeous I think they're very poetic I don't know why I don't know and oh tomorrow the weather it's 32 again right now here and it's 10 o'clock in the morning but tomorrow's supposed to be nice so tomorrow afternoon I might go to the zoo which is gonna be Friday's video for you and we'll do animals I have real life animals in the background. I don't like going to the zoo in the summer, mainly because uh, although the African animals aren't affected, but a lot of the animals are affected by the heat and humidity here. Um, and it's crowded, but during the week, in the middle of the afternoon, not so much. In the winter, not so much. I know those are totally different kind of blues, but that doesn't bother me. Let me go get my tree. I'll be right back. It worked. I think just because I printed them from two different places. I love the big one, but this one will fit. Now. I'm thinking... And it's in black and white, which is really kind of pewter. <laughs> I might cut out all the space, the pewter parts. That's going to take some time, so I'm going to fast forward. We're going to glue this down. Actually, I got this crazy tape, but it's not the right kind of tape, but it's double-sided, so let's do a little bit of that. slow start here this morning. It's 10 o'clock and I've already been up for nine hours. 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh, sleep. Such a nice thing while it lasted. All right. This is crazy double-sided tape here. Not the kind I thought I was getting. But it should hold stuff, let me tell you. Yeah, like that's already there. Um, alright, I don't know what I'm doing here today. I'm out of sorts. 
on the phone with tech support for an hour and a half is not my idea of a fun way to start a day. This is all wrinkled. Arr! Our paper's going to have some wrinkles in it. No matter how I put this, I think I'm just going to try to paint it. just happen to have some brown. Let's try to do it right onto here. I could do it in many forms. Watercolor and put it on here. Acrylic and put it on here. Paint it directly on here. Stabilo Alls. I think I'm going to try it on book text first that I have actually put white acrylic on. And we could start out with the shape that I want. But I really want it to go landscape. Maybe one here and one over here. Okay. Do I have more book text with white? Oh, ooh, well, sort of. These will work. All right. So yeah, it's been a it's cold again. Not bad cold though. And Curti, um, the voice thing was off the other day. Yeah, I watched a couple videos and they were in the squeaky Mickey Mouse fast forward voice and then later on they were fine I don't know if YouTube didn't have a problem surely it wasn't my fault right right I'm just trying to draw the branches because you can really see the branches in a savanna tree Because the way the giraffes eat the leaves. This may or may not work. We may have to start all over again. I did get a couple paper plates. I get tired of trying to find my plastic ones. <laughs> and I really want China ones the whole time. But actually, I don't need one for this. Okay. And I know these aren't biodegradable or whatever, environmentally correct, but today I'm not going to use one, maybe. So there. All right. This does not have to be perfect. Probably should use a smaller brush, though. I am loving painting right now. If it's paper, it's going to be a different color by the end of the day. Don't leave any paper here that you have fond affection for the current color. Okay, let's work on this trunk and branches. I don't know what these trees are called. Could they be like acacia trees? I don't think there are some kind of nut tree. And I don't know if they're evergreen or not. All I know is the giraffes like them and so do I. And I'm okay that there's blue on here 
from just wiping stuff down. I'm okay with all that. Now let's try some green. Might be better to use this brush. Really and truly, I should have not got them wet. I should have used a dry brush. Because then I can add colors in my juvenile uh, knowledge here. Because I'm just going to do this. Can you see? Am I in the right spot? Probably not. just tapping a pretty good sized brush my favorite brush is a Crayola brush and by doing it like that it kind of looks like the branches are growing towards the grass which is helpful for the giraffes okay let's try this one looking forward to going to the zoo actually I love going I love going to zoos in fact when I was still like uh, 12 by 12 scrapbooking I told myself no more zoo spreads unless it's a really incredible zoo <laughs> because I have the Washington TZ zoo in length I have our zoo here I think I have the zoo in Golden Gate Park um, I have uh, seems like oh maybe no not the Atlanta Zoo other zoos M multiple trips here with friends with myself with my nephew with Bella zoo spreads I and I can do a zoo spread I don't think I've been into any zoos around the world and other cities and I think my husband and I are going to try to do Quebec to Montreal in the late spring. So I'll have a real travel journal. Not ones I have to make up. If you didn't know, if you're new here, I make these up. If I'm not going anywhere. I'll be going somewhere in nine days. Not exotic, but fun. And we're going to work on a journal there. Okay, let's add a different shade of green. I cannot tell you how pleasant it has been here without dogs barking 24 hours a day. The people from next door moved and took their four dogs with them. Ooh, I'm going to shake this one. Some of these paints are incredibly old. Ooh. I am easily talked into supplies. But I really like making my own, too. I just don't have a good design team behind me. It's me. Ooh, I like these trees. Okay. Now. The black is dry. Not the black, the brown. Might try adding a tiny bit of a black accent. Then we're going to cut these trees out and put them on our blue background. And Kurti, you said the nicest thing to me. It was today. Yesterday for you. That I pull my ideas from a lot of different places. And I do. 
I don't like repetitive stuff. Now I can do repetitive techniques. Okay. But I like to mix it up. I don't want the same cookie cutter stuff everywhere. I would prefer the paper not shred in my tree, my savanna tree. It's really a little bit too wide. So I thank you for that nice comment. I guess because I do this every day, I would get bored if I was doing a cookie cutter layout every single time or the exact same process. Therefore, I have to make it interesting for me. And I do try to add interest. Okay, that's backfiring. <laughs> I just don't have any other shades of craft brown, craft paint in brown that will kind of add interest. So we're going to leave it at that before I mess it up. Actually, we're going to cover some of that up. had a kingfisher or what looks like a kingfisher bird sitting on our boat railing the ramp down to the boat dock the last like three or four mornings right in the same spot I think he's fishing right there and he's really pretty Ugh, that looks horrible we're gonna have to go with it I'm gonna dry these and I'll be right back hold on that tree looks awful, and I'm not liking the blue. Even though I'm okay with the blue, I'm not liking it this time. So I'm going to try to make a smaller one right here. Let's see if I can do that. Without drawing it also. With a pencil ahead of time. And they don't have to be exact. Shoot. Oh no, here it is. Okay. I don't want weeping willows, but I don't want it to look kind of crazy. I want it to look a little bit normal. Where's that other green? I can use this green. These are not fancy paints. These are my granddaughter's finger paints, which we really have never used them for finger paints. We just use them as craft paint, but because they're Crayola, they're waterproof. They wash off when she flicks paint everywhere even when she's told not to. I want to kind of Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, that's much better. But now we need a little bit longer trunk. we might add to from here. All right, now let's dry them. All right, let's try to cut these out. And they don't have to be perfect. But I do want to give them like a little choppy look. I'm 
when I say choppy look, kind of make it look like there are a little few wispy branches that the giraffes didn't reach. Acacia trees? Is that what I said already? I don't know what these are. Savannah trees. They're on the savannah. And they're spread out. Not to be confused with Savannah the city in Georgia. I don't think they have, they have oak trees there with gorgeous moss hanging in them. I love, there's nothing prettier to me than moss hanging in a tree. And there's a lot of that in Savannah. Trying to make it look a little savannish. This one doesn't have as much wisps. It must be lower, and the giraffes ate the wisps from the top off, right? Right. rest of that trunk. So I ran out of room. So you just glue some more on, right? Right. I guess this is called collage. I don't know for sure if this is considered collage work. I love doing it. I know I love that. Or adding elements to make it mixed media. I'm not sure the technical terms of all of it. But I do know that I love doing this. And I don't, <clears throat> even though I love doing this, I still don't want to repeat it every page. And hopefully I've done a little bit of variety. Um, I have done a lot of painting lately. I guess really and truly, it all has a little bit of paint on it. Whether it's or a magazine page, I guess. Now, these are not to be confused with bonsai trees. <laughs> and I could probably get stickers at the zoo that have giraffes. Maybe I'll add a sticker to this later. That's the beauty of a traveler's notebook. You can keep adding, in my opinion, even if you put in tip-ins. For some reason, I felt like in 12 by 12s I couldn't ever add anything to a spread once it was done. Whether that's my crazy head, I don't know. It always seemed like they were inventing new stickers. And I'm like, oh man, I wish I had that for Greece. Or I wish I had that for Israel. Or man, when I was in Germany, we didn't have those kind of stickers available. And, you know, blah, 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 blah. I feel like with these, you can keep adding a little bit. For some reason, I don't know. Just me. All right. We have two savanna trees. I like those better than the copy that I had worked with. Where's my book? Oh, dear. Oh, here it is. Okay. Now we can make it look like there's two savanna trees on the horizon. Let's glue this one down and add some grass to the other one. Now, this is going to be a slightly problematic because the trees are in the middle of the page. It doesn't allow for a title or something 
Although it could allow for a giraffe, possibly. I don't think I'm... Well, I'm sure I have them somewhere that I could maybe draw from. I don't know. Maybe this will be an example of how I add to it later on down the road. Or how I feel you can. Going back to the topic of the voice, sometimes I turn my voice settings down because I'm editing in the morning. Um, sometimes when my husband's still asleep, and even though he can't hear very well, I'm always afraid I'm going to wake him up, and then I forget to turn it back on when I upload. I don't know if that makes any difference. Okay, we need some grass right here. jays out there even though it's chilly there's still pretty blue jays and things singing I don't want them perfectly even straight across level It's an oasis on the savanna with a savanna tree and maybe a giraffe down the road. We gotta put our grass in there. I love it. It's not pretty. Well, hold on, I lost my glue. The lid to my glue. It's pretty, but it's not perfect. But it looks like I did it, which I like that element that doesn't look like a professional did it. But let me just tell you, I'm far from a professional, but. I am a professional person in the sense that I have a lot of fun. Um, I would starve to death if I had to do this for a living, obviously, but I do have fun. And fortunately, my husband is able to provide me a living. <laughs> and I can continue to buy paint when I want to. It's not perfect. It's got a lump right here. But I like it. But do I need to add? I'm not sure about the title because I might put a giraffe in here, but the giraffe probably needs to be about right here. All right, this is a pretty long video. It might be include. It it might be. Here it goes a brown border. It might have episode two of the Savannah page. Maybe we'll come back to this after we've done the zoo and add some more inspirations. I do think, though, that I have started off with a lot of black. I was looking at it yesterday. I think I have a or maybe I was looking at all the pages that I've painted backgrounds if I showed you my background file in this filing cabinet you guys would just laugh or maybe you have your own that many but I think there's yeah there is a lot of black now that's green a lot of black there oh, a lot of black there so I'm, I don't want to add black to this one I want it to be a variety of colors, but so far so good. We're going to add to it, possibly Friday.
thanks for watching. You can catch me on Instagram right here, and I will see you all tomorrow.